Well, thanks for joining me here on the set of Donna and Friends, and I've got a very, very special guest in the house. Now, Mary Bickle, first I'm going to say, you're going to have to be special to me because my <laughs> camera guy is also your grandson, yes, Joshua he is. Paul. Yes. So let's just establish that right away. Okay. That makes you very, very special because Josh is my, my right-hand man. So for that, I say thanks for coming in. You're so welcome. But you're also a very busy lady. Now, I'm going to kind of start with the upcoming community theater broadcast mm -hmm. that's going to be across the street, the live play, and you're a part of that. Tell me about it. Oh, it is going to be the most beautiful Christmas pageant ever. 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 Um, it's a story about um, a Christmas pageant that's gone Beret, because the normal director has broken her leg and ended oh. up in the hospital, and so another super lady has to take her place, and um, I'm the one with the broken leg, so okay. I'm the busy little lady that tells her how she should be doing all this. Okay, so and you have all the answers, yes. in a sense. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, your name in the play is Mrs. Armstrong? Mrs. Armstrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so when people go to see that, they'll want to look for you in that cast. Right? Yes. <laughs> I, 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 am, I fit the, the role very well. <laughs> yeah. And that play is going to be at the theater on the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Right. In the evening, I think it's at 7 on the 12th and the 13th, and then on Sunday, it's at 2. Okay. Well, and I hear it's a pretty big cast. It's an enormous cast, lots of children, and some wonderful adult actresses and actors. Now, that's not the only thing you're doing that weekend. It's pretty amazing. Your schedule is... Uh, it's shocking to me because <laughs> not only are you doing that community theater play, but you're also doing another event at First Assembly. Yes. Let's talk about that a little okay. bit. Okay. We are doing a superhero Christmas, and it will be on Sunday the 14th in the morning. Okay, and so Sunday. you'll, Saturday night you'll get home kind of late, you'll be kind of exhausted from that production, and you'll get up Sunday morning to another one. Yes. Wow. Yes. And the play on Sunday morning is um, a superhero Christmas, and it's written by Susan Williams. And it is an adorable play about our superheroes, Superman and Batwoman and Wonder Woman and all the big heroes. And they have heard that there's a new hero coming to town, and he's going to take their job, and they want to put a stop to it. So oh, that sounds really fun. It is going to be so cute. Now, how many are in that production? Uh, there will probably be about 70. Oh, my goodness. We have the, the children's choir. Yeah. And then there's 14. 14 actors, and then you have those that are are going to change the set and yeah, you know, all of that technical work, yes. the behind the scenes work, and we don't want to ever forget that no, because without those important. folks, we can't really Very carry important. on the production. We're going to have someone film it, and then there will be the lights and yeah. and the prompters and my goodness, my yeah. goodness. Now also. On the, what is it, the 13th? On the 13th. Uh -huh. Yet another event is taking place. Yes, the high school field house will be the, um, what do you call that? Well, thing? it's called the, maybe the, the, the maybe venue. The place to dine. The, it is the place to the dine. The place to go eat. Right. Yeah. They can purchase tickets from any of the choir members and, um, it's dinner theater, so your dinner will be served by the choir students, and they are dressed in their formal attire. Nice. And um, then they entertain you through the evening with solos or group songs. And the Choir Booster Club is a big part of the lives of the kids that are in the choirs, because without right. you all, it would be hard for them to get a lot of things done. Now, how long, Mary, have you been involved with the, the boosters? 
Well, I've been an officer the last two years, but off and on since mid-90s. My goodness. Now, you're vice president, correct, this year? Right. So what is it like to take on a role like that of a, of a booster club? Oh, it's fantastic. We have wonderful people in the, in the club to begin with, and Michelle Bruner is, is the president, and we have just been working like little beavers getting this ready for the um, dinner theater, but there's always something to do and to be involved in, and, and they're planning a trip, I think it's to San Diego, oh, okay. in the end of the school year. Well, how nice is that? We're working hard to get the money together. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, when they plan this trip toward the end of the school year, will they be performing or competing? Yes, they will be performing, and uh, it's in conjunction with the band, so okay. both the band and the choir, okay. and they will be performing together. That's a pretty big, big undertaking on, on the way of a trip. Now, if we've got some of our viewers that are watching this right now, maybe they'd like to help out the Boosters Club. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be a great that idea? Would be wonderful. Always need a little bit of help. How could they do that? They can send a check and send it to the Choir Booster Club um, at school. Okay. Through so Mrs. Flynn. Okay, so they would want to do that through Cushing High School. Yes. Okay, so um, we'll, you know what, we'll just get information. This is the fun thing about the Don and Friends show. I could just make it appear, you know, right now. Oh, so, yay! I know. And that part is due to your fabulous grandson, I might add. I mean, it's like magic here, just because He's of magical. Yeah, he is magical. He, is magical. he certainly is. Well, that is just, I think, something when people are watching this, they may think to themselves they'd like to help these young people get to where they're going to do their, their competitions. They work very hard, yes. and they are a very talented group of young people that Cushing really should be very proud of. They are wonderful people. Yes. Now, Mary, how long have you been in the Cushing area? Since 1962. Okay. Okay. Now my family came, I think, to the area in 19. I'm going to say 1961, and I was oh gosh, three years old at that time. So I I've been pretty. I've been here just about as long as, long as you or what have you. And this is a wonderful community. I love Don't the you community. Agree? Yes, yeah. it's a good place to call home. My husband, I met my husband, and when we got married, we moved to Cushing. Now, did you meet your husband here? or Yes, I okay. did. I did. I met him here in Cushing, out on Walnut Street, at a little church. Oh. And uh, we've been together ever since. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. Isn't it that neat that, that you met here in Cushing, and you, you just continue to stay here? He, he has grew up in Cushing his whole life, okay. so he is a homegrown boy, and, and he's very rooted right here. Well, you he's know, we have happy a lot of here. people like that here in this community, and they really are to be considered the backbone of our community. Well, it, it's a good place to call home and to raise your children. Yes. We raised five children here, and then um, we have hassle of grandkids <laughs> <laughs> that are all right here. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yes. We well, love it. I think that's a wonderful thing when, when the grandkids get to be around the grandparents and grow up around them. You know, a lot of people take that thought for granted, but that's really a very, very special thing. It is so special. Yeah. And holidays are just phenom phenomenal at our house. <laughs> you know, we have a, a passel of kids and um, friends and relatives that all just crop in, so it's nice. Yeah, that is really cool. Well, again, let's kind of go over these dates, because, boy, we, it is in one weekend. Yes. But it's a weekend. lot happening. And we'll start first with saying that the high school will be doing their choir event, which is also dinner theater. Mm -hmm. In other words, you'll right. be served, and then you'll hear fabulous Fabulous Christmas music. Very good music. I'm sure it is. And that's the 13th. Yes. And then from the 12th through the 14th, you can also, now see, Saturday night you can go to this deal 
that's at the high school. Right. Let, let me plan it out for you. And you're good, we're going to do that, right? Yes. Saturday evening. And we have a choice where we could either go Friday night or Sunday afternoon, maybe, to the theater. Right. And hear, or real, rather watch that live production where you play Mrs. Armstrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then also, Sunday morning on the 14th, we'll be at First Assembly of God. With the superheroes. Yes, with the superheroes. I mean, who doesn't want to go see Batman, right? Bat, well, it's Batwoman. Or Batwoman, okay. Batwoman. So and is she Superman. Batman out of the way? Or maybe yes. Stay uh -huh. Batman? Well, he has to stay home and do the dishes. Uh, okay, I understand how that happens. I mean, we can't yeah. always do the no. dishes when we're yes. super women. <laughs> yes. And we have other things to do. We and have, that will be at your uh, Sunday morning service. When does right. it start? It starts at 10. Okay, all right. So, I'm going to tell you what. December 12th, 13th, and 14th is just jam-packed. There's, be, there's no reason for you to be able to at least get out to one, two, or even three of these events. Right, if you all three right. of them. Well, Mary, I tell you what, I have had a blast visiting with you. And you can see Mary in all three of these places as well. A long time fishing eye, and for that, uh, I'm thankful that we have people just like you that are the background of this community. Thank you. All right, we will be back with more Don and Friends. So don't you have to do that. And everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the half happiest season of all. With those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call.